Hey everybody, and welcome back to Conquest of Elysium 4 with me, Time and Tactics. Uh, so we have Dino Monk, Mach, whatever, Dino, let's call her Dino, over here by the coal mine. And she has a few units with her now. She has a couple of these uh, Barbarian Lancers, they are very good. One mounted scout and herself. Let's go ahead and pick up more units up here right away. We have three movements now. I wish I had a mounted commander, but I don't. So one, two, and three. Excellent, and now we can go ahead and uh, get them. There, we'll take them, and then next turn we'll uh, probably attack. No, not attack. We'll go up here and get this hamlet. Maybe go down and take these, the forest over here. Which, by the way, was it Jet does who uh, commented and said, "What am I doing with the uh, with the herbs? Am I just keeping them, or what am I? What's going on?" Well, I'm making 18 right now, but I want to get to 300 so we can get that ritual. Um, the next, uh, or not ritual, but the next level for, uh, who is it, our, for our spirit guide. That's going to cost 300 to do that. So that will be uh, something that we're going to keep an eye on. I have to go down and get the library again, but hopefully we'll be okay, at least in the barbarian campment. Although, you know what? Is this really that important to keep? What's here? Nothing much, right? Nothing much. It's a recruitment place, but we have one already. It's not the end of the world if we do lose it, I would think, here. So, but anyway, let's see what we got here. We do have quite a few units. Barbarian uh, camp, ten, oh, 16 swordsmen, 3 rare bears. Yeah, we can hold out, I think, there pretty well. Anyway, that's uh, Dino up there going around, picking this up. Perfect. And getting the magic library. Over here, I think it was Chris who said, I should recruit some archers over here at the castle. Because the castle has, you can't see it if you don't have units, but it has an iron gate. Very hard to get uh, through, unless you got magic, I guess. And so having archers on top of the wall is going to be very, very uh, good protection. Now, I don't think I need to do it this turn, because there's nobody here. I don't think, anyway. So, let me get a little bit more money, because I'd like to have over a hundred before I spend any of it. So let's take Artabur here. We're at 231, so I'm not going to use my spirit guide yet. Hmm. I was thinking about what... Who was it that... Let me just double check this. It was... Uh, it was Jet does. Okay, Jet was saying um, about the spirit guide. I can summon more units. Having that, I guess, the ritual. Now, that's true. But I want to save my three... Up to 300. Then we'll do that. And what he was saying was that... Bring out one of the commanders. The, the spirit guide. This one out of the group here so it stands on its own and I can have them right here and I can just control click so I have multiple commanders selected when I move and that would be a good idea I'll do that when I need to now for now we have two movements left here we can take the boars but do we need to there is one herb there but I really want to find out where the warlock uh, bastion was for instance if we go here it takes two movement ah, might as well go down here it takes two anyway we'll take him out I think that's all I want to do. Marpesia, yeah, we're going to meet with her here. I think I'm fine. Crystal Amazons, do I want them? No, I'll wait. I feel I get quite a few, uh, you know, special units all the time. Okay, they're fast, these boars, it looks like. But they don't have very many, no armor. So not really very much there. Seven hit points, one to five damage. Not bad, but we do uh, quite a bit of damage here and then they're going to run into those bears and it's going to be a problem there i think okay we'll take a little bit of damage there but you know nothing really too bad they're going to gain the hit points back because at the end of the end of the battle here we get regeneration yep battle aftermath Eight jade, jade Amazons again for 50. Do we have Jade before? No, we don't. And I forget what, they, what the difference is there. Crystal, it's about the same, isn't it? One, two, three, bow damage. Yeah. I think it's about the same. One, two, four, a spear. Oh, Jade Amazons are not range units. Okay, so that's good that I checked that. They do have one shield here. So one, zero to one armor. One to four damage. There's one extra one. If you compare that to the Warriors, same price. You get one fewer, but they do way more damage. I don't think I want those Jade Amazons. Mm -mm. 
Nope, we won't take those. Let's uh, take Dino now and move up here. We'll go up here and then we'll take... Oh, do we want to take them? I don't know. That's five of them there. Well, we have to wait till the next room anyway. We can probably take them because of these uh, Lancers that do a ton of damage on their initial charge. But it was going to have to wait till the next turn. Marpesia, I have 129 now. Now, I could get a couple of... Uh, oh. I knew, do need to get some units now, don't I? Mm, four bears, I'm not going to be able to... Well, let me see if I can take Chris's advice here and recruit. And we'll take the bowmen here. Yeah, not the Jade Amazons. We'll take the bowmen. In the castle. I didn't even look at that, but that was the castle selected. Yeah. Oh, I did right-click. Long right-click is what you want to do every time so you don't mess it up. So they're up here. We should probably see if we can take them on because four of them is a lot. There. Oh, actually, I can take him now, can't I? So, all right. I'll just borrow a couple of the movement points from next turn. So four bears. They take up a lot more space, but uh, 28 hit points really no better than our bear here, right? Actually, they're worse than our bear. So we're going to take them out, I think, pretty easily. Do they have trample? They don't. They just take a lot of space here so you can surround them and do more damage on each one. So I think we will be okay here. We do have our barbarian commander. Golden wizard, fire resistance. That's not very helpful, is it? Winds, okay. Yep, two gone, two left. There we go, yeah, it's pretty quick. But they would have been able to get through into the castle, obviously, if we hadn't done anything. Okay, so that is that. Oh, here comes the, the priestess, right? Eight crystal Amazons, those are range units. Where are you at? You're here. And I'm way over here. Way, way, way over here. Now... That magic library is not looking good. 30 units. What are these? What do they have? Oh, no. Gibber are... Uh, uh, no, not that big. Giants. They do quite a bit of damage. Uh, one shield. Two armor. Quite strong, I would say. The two of them there. What are these? Giant scorpion. They're going to do uh, poison. Climb walls. No, th yeah, they do have deadly sting and claw. Deadly Sting would do damage there. 120. Hmm. Okay, so that's going to be a little bit tricky. How much? How many hit points? Six. Not too much. We can take them out probably with archers there, I think. And because their damage is so low, if you have armor, you're more than likely not to take any damage, and then the, the Sting doesn't come into play. The scorpion there, yeah, that's even... E well, one to eight, but we can kill those pretty easily, I think. In the back, they get a Balite Archer. Are those any good? Bow 1 to 3. Nothing really special. 6 there. No. I don't think there are any special there. And then in the very back, we have a Hero Duel. And that is the Dark Prayers level 1. Now, this will be a little bit tricky. Because I can take them out with my army up here. But it's far away, right? We're on the other side of the map. Do I want to bring down my units here and then bring up my army here? Because this army is not terrible. I mean, that's quite a few. 16 swordsmen, and they do have a little bit of armor. They have... Yeah, they do have one armor and one shield, so the, the regular scorpions going to have a tough time getting through. Then the werebears are pretty good as well. But I don't think there's much to recruit here. Uh, I do have money, though, so I could use it. Uh, what would I get? Bowmen? Well, how many bowmen do we have? Nobody, but no ranged units here. I may want to get that, then. Let's go ahead and recruit. I think it's the right time. Let's recruit here, and we'll take a few bowmen at the camp. Yep. There. And then we'll bring down... I think we should bring down them. I mean, the, the brigand's going to take everything back here, but I think I need to... Well, I don't know, though. These are not going to do... If I bring them back, they're going to be lined up in the front, and if they do that, they're not going to survive. One armor, one shield. Well, they could... 1 to 10 damage is good, too. That will do a lot of damage. It might be helpful to bring him down. There's quite a few units. Why don't I bring him down now? I mean, I'm going to basically give this up for now. They're going to take that, probably. We'll come back with our army here. If I can recruit somebody next turn, I would love to do that. 269, by the way, now. We're getting very close to 300. And then over here, 
just continue like nothing happened because it's too far away, right? We already have a pretty good base here. I'm not going to mess with it. I'm going to keep on going here. Now, we took the bears last time. Two movement here, and that's all I have left. If I go with diagonal, I can see better, and I can get on the plane maybe next time. Onto the planes here. Four boars. We only got one out of that. Okay, that's nothing special. If I wanted to, I can recruit more here. Do I want to move her now? If you look at Marpesia, Marpesia is Stygian skin against... Oh, Pierce Resistance. Okay, Pierce is very good, isn't it? What do we say about them? No, they don't have Pierce, but you know what? They do. They do. This is very good to have her right there. The Onyx uh, Priestess is very good. I wish I could get another one. Do I wait one more turn here and get more units? I could do it next turn, get more. What do we say we have now? Oh, we need to give her the units, don't we? Yeah, M, M. And I know I'm leaving this barbarian encampment undefended, just a totem, but it's fine. I mean, there's not that much there. I already have another base, so I'm not too worried about it. So we have her, where is she at? Marpesia, 16 swordsmen, 7 bowmen. We could wait one more turn, get 7 more bowmen, which, by the way... We get almost a full wall of them here, which is very good. Protecting our bowmen back there. I'm tempted to wait one more turn, but then they're going to move up here. Maybe I will wait one more turn. Yeah, we'll wait one more turn. Let's do it. That's Marpesia, and let's see what they do. Moving back. Okay. And we can get eight Crystal Amazons or eight Onyx Amazons for 50. Now the... The Crystal Bow... One to three. The Onyx Spear. We don't want those, right? I don't think so. But I'm thinking about getting more bowmen here at the camp, and then we'll head out. Yep. And let's not forget to give those bowmen to her, and now she will have 16 bowmen, 14... 16 swordsmen, 14 bowmen, and three werebears. That's going to have to do. Let's move up here. It's winter. It's going to be slow. Eh, I, I'd say we go for it here, though. We'll go in there, and um, Marpesia, we'll have Marpesia in charge. There. Now Marpesia will have nine Lancers, two calories. Well, actually, let's look at this here. Yeah, that's pretty good. Archers in the back, and then these units. Yeah, that's pretty good here, with the werebears in the center. They're going to be fast coming in. I think that's going to we're going to do a lot of damage here. If we can sneak down here, we're going to go and take that library, head on down, hold the line there, and then if I get another commander, I'll see what I can do by getting more more commanders, more units to protect. I don't know if I'm able to, or if those Hobergs will come and uh, start to do something stupid. Okay, it's going to be two movements here because it's winter. What do we have here? Old battlefield, four ghouls. Ghouls. Now, that is interesting. Don't they spawn here? I think they do. Cold resistance, poison. We don't have any of those. Sleep immunity. Charm, banishable, which we can't do. I don't think. We don't have anybody who can do banish. 12 hit points. We can take them out. Ghoul claw. Ghoulifies. Oh, they're going to be turning into ghouls, I think, if, you, if they take you. Do I want to do that? Maybe not. I don't know. I don't think it matters a whole lot if I do it. We keep our bowmen here. Go down here and take this instead. One mounted scout, crystal Amazons, jade Amazons. Yeah. Okay, well, we're chasing down the high priestess. We'll see if we can do it. One more here, going over there to get it. Well, take the farm and then take that. Yep, the brigands took this one and we've lost this now. Oh, more brigands up there. We don't have anything in the tower bridge either. We should probably put at least some archers, which I can't do at 48. Next turn, let's put a few there so they can't get across. I think that's a good idea. Or well, they won't even attack, I think. They'll be too, uh, feeling uh, that they don't have enough units, I think. Okay, we're going to the forest, I think. What do we have? Iron mine. That's a pretty good one. And we can definitely take this one. Oh, yeah. And what do we have here? Nope, nope, just wolves. Okay. 
All right, we are now here. It's winter, so it's so slow to move. Do you notice here, by the way, we have more ruby clockwork soldiers. Those are the ones who are immune. Well, not immune. They uh, are good at fire. Another set of three ruby clockwork soldiers here. They're going to be roaming around here an awful lot since we're not doing anything to take them out. I'm going to go down and take this one. Yep, nothing special there. Watchtower. It can, it, um, it has a wall. It has a, a gate, a wooden gate, and you can see far away if you control it. So that's pretty good, but I don't think I need it. 299. Next turn, we can see what we can do with our spirit guide. Okay, here's the battle. I mean, we have good units here. This is very, very good, I think. If I could fill in the front line completely, it would be helpful. Four or five more. That way our bowmen back here are not exposed. Good, look at that. Shade Warriors, nice. Uh, I guess the wind, four damage. Yeah, this was the wind's damage that we... They took a pretty good hit. Yeah, he gets a little bit of protection there. He took a hit here, I think, right? One point extra damage, immobilized target. Okay. One guy left, the captain, and he's gone. Excellent. One were bear for 25 gold. Okay, we're going to take this one, but where? Hmm, we could take it here. We have 98 now. I was going to recruit here, I said. But here I want probably somebody who can just fire, right? If we do that, we'll take seven bowmen here at the Batar Bridge, just to have them. And then we'll, I think we'll take a bear here. It's far from home. I mean, we're going to be moving away from that. But I kind of want to keep this there anyway, because it's it's worth a little bit at least, right? The manufactory here. Okay, well, yeah, I think I'll take it here at the camp. Down to 23 now. But now we have 319. So now it's time to take our unit here. Press T. And where is it at? The spirit guide is here. Artabur is there. So... Is it Artabur? Wait a minute. Not Artabur, but Bergamund here. There we go. Use special power. So what do we have now? We have 300. If I spend Ritual Mastery, we will then uh, get a new second level ritual. If we don't have one, then we'll be leveled up as well. We get a second one plus leveled up. Let's do that right now. So Ritual Mastery. No action points. Okay, well, next turn. We'll do it next turn. Marpesia, uh, do I want to attack here? I do, but maybe not yet. We'll go up here first. You know what? Those scouts, we'll take them now. I don't want them to take on that. We'll do that. Okay, so here is the secondary army we have, which is pretty good. Two mages in the back, three bears. You can see how fast the horses are. And once they hit, they're going to do a ton of damage. Oh, is that venom? Brigand is poison for 25 damage. 25. Take a small part of the poison value's damage each round. Probably like 10%, I'm guessing. Okay. There we go. Yeah, it took 3 points of damage. Yeah, 2.5. Probably 3. Okay, dead. Good. Now, we have taken them. I don't see... Nope, I, I can't see him here now, but the priestess, so that's good. Do we go up and take this, maybe, and then go back down for the clockwork? I don't know. I think I will, because it's worth quite a bit here. More brigands. Okay, I'll take them as well. I don't know what you can do against a brigand lair. I think it's just going to keep spawning. Three snakes at the watchtower. We can take that if we wanted to. Now, before we do that, though, Berrimund, you are going to use your special power to get... Uh, ritual of Mastery. Now we could do this Summon Ancestor. So we got that warrior forever. But let's go ahead and do the Ritual of Mastery. Summon Heroes of Old for 300. The Spirit Guide builds a sweat lodge and burns large amounts of aromatic herbs to call the spirits of the tribe's most heroic ancestors. That's going to be a very good unit. And then we can do Ritual of Grand Mastery. But that's only possible in ancient forests. 
Oh, ancient forest. We do have that. But 1,200. That's huge. Now we're going to go ahead and attack. Where do we attack? Three snakes. I think that this is a good one to get. To get an eye on everything. We'll take him. Ah, oh, guard tower right next to watchtower. Okay, and an ancient forest here. We'll take that as well. This is going to be good. It's going to be very good. We have 40 already. We can get another... We can get another here. Um, we can get an Ancestor if we wanted to, or just save it up. I'm tempted to save it up. I want the best. Okay, so here is the Wooden Gate. And since they left to attack, they the Wooden Gate is not there. I think that's they just always do that if it's an animal. Obviously, they're not going to make it. They're not going to make it even anywhere near to us. Now, we're going to have 50... TNT back in independence in a tundra. That's up north. Okay, good. I think we're going to see them take a lot of damage here. What did we get? Stick in skin? Yeah, look at that. Gone. Okay, that's looking good. Jade Amazons for 50. I don't think a jade is the one I want, right? Guard tower. If I take that, I have another location I can recruit from, which is very tempting, right? Because uh, I can boost my forces here. One brigand and four scouts, though, if I take that. Actually, I can do this. I'll take both of them here and move in here. Like that. And then we can recruit right now. Here, long right click. And we'll put... What is this here? It's only one shield, so it's going to be a wooden gate. But let's go ahead and recruit one time here. And not there, but Actually, I want to uh, long right click. There it is. Yep. We want to do the Barbarian Bowman. They're going to stay there. We could drop off Barrymond so he can still use his 60 herbs and we can get one Ancestral Spirit. I kind of want to see what it's all about. So we'll take Arabur here and attack them because I want to get that Ancient Forest. Leave Barrymond there. There. And now here... Yeah, that's good. We're going to have him on the wall. That's going to be good. If they attack here with those, we're going to be able to take him out, I think. Ants coming up, taking a farm. Okay. Marpesia is up here. Down and take the hamlet. More brigands. I guess next turn we'll have to do something about that. Barrymond, you can wait here. There's no reason for you to be running out. No. Two movement points won't do anything. And ancient forest. Okay, that's not going to be that bad. Well, it's going to be bad for them, not for us. Okay, yep, it's looking looking decent there. Not losing really anybody, right? Well, eight Onyx Amazons for 50 gold. Oh, did we lose somebody there in the center? I don't know. Right in front of those. It leaves a gap every time. Is that because we're moving? Hmm. Eight Onyx Amazons. Oh, uh, where are we at now? They took the Ancient Forest. It's always something, right? Four boars. We can take them out probably with just... No, not with just them. Bearmond is here. We have a hundred now. You know what? What if we... Takes two movement here. What if we recruit... Not recruit. We use the ritual. Special power. But I want to wait till 300. Mm, I do want to wait for that. But let's do one ancestor at least and see what we get. So it's going to be one of those Ancestral Warriors, but it's going to be a permanent one. Four hit points. At least I think it is. Floating. Banishable Ethereal, which is really good. It's going to be very hard to take him out. He doesn't have very many hit points, but pretty good. So now here, we have one spot there. So we used one movement there. We could, if we wanted to, we could go ahead and get another one. And then go over. Yeah, let's do that, actually. Use Special Power. Now we have two. They're the same, I think. And let me go ahead and make sure we have them here. Oh, wait. M. M. Okay. Berrymond now has, what, seven bowmen and two warriors. That's going to be enough to take out the boars, I think. We go up there, the next turn go over in there and take it at the Ancient Forest. I want to get back the six that we had. We're making 42 right now, but I want more than that. So then Ardabur will go up... There's a coastal hamlet here. 
Always good to go in the forest, though, because you want to get as many herbs as possible. If I take this one, yeah, maybe I want to do that, so I don't want to lose anything here. We have nobody in the watchtower. Yeah, we'll do that. And then we're up here. If I take, move over here, one. That's two movement points, and then one here. There. Have, we've been lucky here, haven't we? There's only one werebear right there. Okay, they're not going to have any chance, I don't think. Having four mages is really quite good. Look at that. Flashes of darkness. And then our secondary army, if you want to call that a secondary army, it's pretty good. Taking damage, which the effect is that we get, you know, special afflictions that we don't can't really recover from, but it's all right. Okay, and um, there he is. Okay, he's coming back up. Eight crystal Amazons for 50. Now, we are pretty close here to this location. We could take them, the bowmen. You know, one, yeah, two, go back, and then take, pick them up, recruit more, pick them up, go down here, and take him out. That is tempting. We can lose also, by the way. We can lose T Barbarian Camp here anytime. You know, that's very possible. Now, what do we have over here, though? Barrymond is here. Yeah, we're going to take the woods, the ancient forest. That's going to cost us two. Well, it cost us three, actually, but we'll do it. And then we'll take this one next. I think I'm going to go maybe take Barrymond here and go back. We have 42 now, making 54, which is huge because we have two of the ancient forest there. If I go down here now, it's a forest. I have three movement points, and I can go down here and look. Okay, there's two coastal hamlets here. We're hitting the west side of the island, aren't we? Or the continent, if you want. And Marpesia, then, what do we do? Two movements here to get through. And then we can get pick up more units, and then we're better off, because I don't know what he actually has. He might have picked up a few more. That's two. If I go down here, borrow one. I'm going to have two left next. One, two. Yeah. Okay, we'll do that. Take that and get more herbs. Always good. As long as we keep our spirit guide, we're in good shape. Okay, just taking out those two bears. So basically, this army here is going to be... We're going to have to just... It's going to be on this side of the continent. We're not going to go back to the high priestess here. I mean, it's a good army. I like it a lot, having the um, magic items. Crystal Amazons, that's Bowman. Okay, Bergamont is here. Those boars went up there. We have no units in Elder Hill, and we do have some in the uh, in the castle, though. We have eight there. Now, I'm here. We haven't seen the, um, the priestess yet, but I'm going to go in here now, and we're going to recruit some more. Now, I think the Crystal Amazons, they are bowmen. Let's take them. Not there, but here. Boy, I always miss that. There, we took eight now. And uh, if I take them, do we also take the, these here? Do we need to protect this? I don't think we do. There's nothing really anything here. So if I take them... That's Marpesia. Marpesia, nine lancers, two calories. 16 swordsmen, 21 bowmen. Okay, it is pretty good here. So 21 plus 8, 29 range units. We can't really have any more than that. They can't reach, actually. We might have too many now. Now, there's a coastal hamlet here. If we were to go west, I bet you anything nobody's up there. I think the blue high priestess is down south. So if I go up here, I might just clean up. Let's go down here first. Another coastal hamlet? Okay, we'll take this one too. And a guard tower. That would be helpful. It's down south. We can recruit here. 31 units. Now that's a catapult. Mm-hmm. Boy, that's a tough one, actually. I don't know if I want to take this one now. We'll go up this way instead. Okay, so that's Berrymond. There are four boars here. I have, If I go here, I can get more herbs. That's always good. We'll take more herbs and see if we can chase him down and avoid him 
uh, taken over anything. Artemis here, one suit sayer for 54, eight Onyx Amazons for 50. Spear. That's Fortune Magic level one, which I think means for level one, it means that you have um, uh, luck. So right now, how are we looking? We have recruited here. We have more money, we can recruit more. What do we say here, by the way? It's hard to, uh, actually I can press T. This is what we get. They're gonna have, we're gonna have units back here with a range of five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, they can shoot. They can fire their arrow, but it's, we don't want any, well, we could, I guess, get a few more on either side here. Could get a secondary line of units here. Possible to do that as well. We'll see about that. And then down here we have the magic library, but I think we need to move on east. So, yeah, the brigands took that. If I recruit here, I'm thinking I should recruit probably more units to fill in here. Maybe a few more swordsmen. Could also get the cab, because when they do that charge, you know, they all get put in front, right? That charge is very powerful. 1 to 10 damage is huge. That will kill every time, pretty much. Because on average you do then 5 damage, and that's hard to avoid. Okay, so that's that. We'll have to think about what we do there. Down here, I'm thinking about going northwest. Nobody here, maybe. We can take that and then come down south. And what else do we have? Berrimund. Well, maybe just follow here and get as many of these uh, forests as possible. Making 29 now. It's going to be... Well, we're going to be making a pretty good amount here. 29. We're going to get to 300. If we check his special power... Summon Heroes of Old. I want one of those. It would be very good to get that. This one would be great. Ritual of Grand Mastery, but 1,200 is an enormous amount. So, okay, but I think that's all for now. Oh, I should go down here and get this one. It's a lot of stuff to do, because if I get this one, that's a third one that has six more herbs. Look at all these units, though. We're going to lose this, aren't we? If I don't buy more units here. And even if I do, you know, we're going to make... Are we going to hold it here? There's only one wear bear right now and you don't want anything that has a piercing damage because these guys here are immune to that basically well half damage so i don't know if we recruit anything here now if we don't yeah i don't know we could get some well, actually we could get some swordsmen we have 120 iron some swordsmen there would be good but let's think about that for next time guys put your comments down below let me know what you think and uh, don't forget to give it a like I appreciate it, and I'll see you next time.